y'all, Flower Plant Killer here, Jessie with Living on Prayer Flower Farm. And in today's video, we are talking all about Solosa. So today we'll be starting Solosa. I love Solosa. I fell in love with this my first season last year, doing a small little cut flower garden and I love it. I love how easy it is to grow. I love it as a filler flower. I love it as just a tall spike coming out of arrangements. It's beautiful. So I ordered more this year. Last year I had mainly a flamingo mix, the pink flamingo, and Texas plume mix. Speaking of which, I guess I'm missing those. I am missing them. I'm not sure where all my seeds are, but I did get some new ones in, so I'm super excited to get these started. So we will be going from seed all the way up until they get their first true leaves. So be sure to stick around so you can see what these seedlings are gonna look like, especially if you're a beginner gardener, probably like me, had no clue what these were going to look like. So I wasn't sure what's weed and what's my actual plant, germination rate on these, or what to expect. So second year growing these and I really like them. They're super easy. So. These all came from Johnny Seed Company. Okay, I'm trying to remember what these look like. When in doubt, grab the Johnny's magazine. Yeah. Love the Johnny's catalog. Yeah, Chief Mix. All right, I've got the Chief Gold Celosia. It's like the coxcomb. I haven't grown this variety of celosia before, but it looks beautiful and I can't wait to see how it turns. So Chief Gold. I also got the Persimmons celosia. It's like a bright orangey red color. Still coxcomb series almost. The Chief Caramine. Carmen Caramine. I don't really want to pronounce it. Nope. I'm gonna grow celosia Eternity. Yeah, Eternity Improved. Terracotta, which will be great for late summer, fall bouquets. Oh, Ruby Parfait, I love this color. And Pampas Plume, Pampas Plume, Pampas Plume. So this is what Johnny's has to say about Celosia. It says it does recommend that you transplant these seeds. So I'm six to eight weeks before last frost date. Well, We've already passed our last frost date, so I'm behind. Do not cover has light aids in germination. Bottom water or mist lightly to avoid covering seeds. And transplant to cell packs after larger contain transplant to cell packs or larger containers when first tree leaves appear. Harden off and transplant outdoors when danger has passed. If you are going to direct seed, do it for areas with long growing seasons. Sow seeds four inches apart and a quarter and one eighth inch deep after danger of frost is passed and then thin to six to 12 inches apart. So it takes eight to 14 days to germinate at 70 to 80 Fahrenheit or 21, 27 Celsius. And it says for growing on, grow at 63, 68 Fahrenheit, 17, 20 Celsius at night temperatures and long days. Low temperatures and less than 12 hours of light can cause premature flowering didn't know that and it takes it roughly 90 to 95 days is that all of these Ooh. Ooh. the chief gold mix the chief series takes 90 to 120 days to get to maturity I better get cracking so let's get these going so I'm gonna start with a nice seed mix. If you are new to seed starting, make sure that you pick up a seed mix. Don't do like I did, which is try to start these seeds in a potting soil. Potting soil just doesn't do well. There's too many obstacles for the seeds to try to fight through to grow properly. It's better to germinate them in a seed starting mix when starting out and then pot them up into a potting mix. Also, there's little jiffy pellets that you water and they grow. Hate them. Don't use them. Do not, do not, do not use them. Plus the little wire bag it is nylon. It never goes away. So just don't. 
I have a leak in my milk jug. There's water all on my table. Okay, anyway, so I could pour this directly into the tray and then put the seeds on top. And that is a good way to wash away all your seeds. Don't do that. <laughs> so what I'm going to do But you know what, I don't even have to use this. I can pour it right into the pan. I am going to pour this directly into the pan. So this soil, the seed starting mix, is very light and fluffy. If I were to put seeds into this directly and then try to water it, let me show you what would happen. Look at there, the top doesn't get wet, but the bottom does. And even then, most of the time, what's gonna happen is your seeds are just, you see how easily that moves? They're gonna wash away. They're not gonna stay where you put them. So what I like to do is go ahead and moisten my soil first, and then add the seeds. And then I'll still lightly spritz them on top, just to make sure the seeds get good and moist. Another reason why I like to pre-moisten my soil first is because that allows you to know how much more soil you need to add. Once the soil is wet, it becomes much more compact and it doesn't take up as much space. So when do you know if your soil is moist enough for your seeds? Well, you do want it moist, but not soggy. So if I were to grab the soil right here and squeeze, you see how water just came out? That's too wet. That's too wet. So I need to keep mixing with the dry soil I just added. Because you don't want to be able to squeeze it and have water just pour out like that. So that means your soil is soggy and then you could have your seeds rot. So now my soil should be good. Let's pick it up, let's squeeze. No water came out and it's clumping together. That means my soil is just right. It's like Goldilocks. You don't want it too dry, and you don't want it too wet. You need it just right. Okay. Now this is a big tray, and I don't need a full tray of celosia going. <laughs> so that would be pretty epic to have that much celosia in the garden. Small town, small time farmer, not not full scale. So, oh no, where's my string? I don't know where my string is, hang on. Now I could do a whole tray of celosia and that would be awesome, which I am, but I'm not doing a whole tray of every variety. So I'm gonna use my high tech string to separate and label each variety that I'm gonna put in. I'm gonna do one tray with three varieties and one tray with four. That's right, I got seven varieties of celosia. Pretty excited about that. And even then, this will probably be too much celosia, but I'm a former plant killer. Technically still a plant killer. So always plant more than what I need because you never know how many are actually going to make it to being outside and actually then making it to where I can harvest. <laughs> you never know. So before I get too confused, my label. Let's put the Chief Series in here. So just hit me. If these take 120 days to bloom, that's gonna be like August. <laughs> but if they only take 90 days, cause it does say 90 to 120. If it only takes 90, then I can have one by July. So late on this. I'm seeing. Sometimes I'll have a germination rate on here. I don't see that. Hmm. Teeny tiny seeds. Because 
these don't need to be covered because they need light to germinate. I'm gonna put on a light layer of vermiculite. And that'll help with moisture control and mold and algae. Now guys, I'll be honest, I'd heard of vermiculite, ugh, I've heard of vermiculite last year, but I didn't wanna buy it because it was so expensive. And I thought I'd have to use like a lot of it. This stuff lasts forever. It was 10 bucks at O'Neill's Farming Garden at my local garden center. And it lasts forever. I've had this since the beginning of this season and I'm not even halfway through it. And now we spritz. I'm gonna put on my dome. And now this will go under my grow light. Once I have germination, as in, even if it's just a, about five seeds or about a quarter. Once I see about a quarter germination, this dome will come off. Otherwise you risk running into mold and trust me, it's no fun. So let's go throw these under the lights and then I'll plan up the next tray of the rest of Celosa. And then thanks to YouTube Magic, we'll fast forward so you can see what these will look like. Celosa planted 410, look at this. This is 413 guys, and we have life. Life is in these trays. Look at those little root hairs. Wow. So after only three days, the dome is coming off because we've got life. Woohoo! Slosa, about a week after planting, everybody's happy. Everybody's coming up. It's great, except Ruby Parfait. What's up with you, Ruby Parfait? I need you to come up. What is up with my Ruby Parfait? This is not doing anything. It is just sitting there. Time to reseed, possibly. All right, here is my Celosa. It was planted 410. Today is May 8th, and it's looking really good. Look at that. But it is time to pot her up. Where'd I put my gloves? There's my gloves. I actually have two trays of Celosa, and everybody did great. Except you, Ruby Parfait. Ruby Parfait right there, y'all. She's just now coming up. I don't know what's going on with that. So I'm gonna leave her in this tray just a little bit longer maybe, or maybe I'll pot her up, I don't know. I really want Ruby Parfait. I need her to hurry her rear end up. So now that we have our past first tree leaves, because they grew so fast, we are going to go ahead and pot them up. I've got a lot of pots already ready to go. Now a lot of these, now these are already moist. The soil is already moist as we always want to make sure we transplant into a nice moist soil. One thing I haven't done though is started a bunch of labels that need to go into every single one of these. Woo wee! So let's get to potting these up. I'm going to save as many as I can and like all transplants I'm just going to Grab the strongest one I can. Apparently I'm just going to do the one glove thing. I don't know why. And stuff her in there the best I can. And they'll live the rest of their little life in this pot for now.
I will pot up the chief gold tomorrow morning because I just ain't up to it tonight. I'll have to get more dirt moistened and the dirt's outside. So I don't feel like going outside. I'm being lazy. But you get the gist of it. You can see our first tree leaves, what the seedlings actually look like when they've reached a month old. They actually got pretty big after a month. I'm excited to get these hardened off and figure out where I'm going to put them. If you're new to my channel, I'm a former plant killer and I'm on a flower farm journey trying to turn my black thumb of death into a green thumb of life and help others along the way. If you'd like to join me on this journey, be sure to hit the subscribe button. And if you'd like to see more videos like this where I start from seed all the way up to one month or first tree leaves, be sure to check out the playlist here and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.